At the end of every semester at my elementary school, there was a school-wide assembly where awards were given out for best grades, perfect attendance, and a nebulously defined good citizenship award. I knew I couldn't win an award. It would be impossible for a middling student like me with so-so attendance to win one. Then one day I realized I could. On the bus ride home from school one day, my best friend Nick Felton had spit on a piece of modeling clay, then thrown it at a fourth grader. When our teacher confronted our class about who did it, Nick quickly confessed. Cut to a few months later, and the winner of the Good Citizenship Award was Nick Felton. I immediately realized that I could win an award that took no real dedication or skill, but could be won with a singular moment of purposeful action. The next week, I told everyone. My friends, my teacher, my parents, my lunch ladies. I was going to win the Good Citizenship Award. I volunteered for every demeaning task that I could. Clean the class trash cans? Sure. Help the librarians shelve books? No problem. When school awards day came, there was an air of inevitability about my victory, like how the Academy Awards must feel when Daniel Day-Lewis is nominated for Best Actor. And when my teacher said that the winner of the Citizenship Award was Clayton Long, I swear that there was an audible gasp from the class. I wasn't upset, though because it is far better to lose and be liked than to win and not be. Even though I lost, what I learned is that to succeed in life, you don't have to be the hardest worker or the smartest person in the room. You just have to be smart enough and hardworking enough at the right time.